Hey guys, what is going on? I hope you all are doing well. My name is Elliot. Welcome back to The Fragrance Well. So today we're going to do my first weekly fragrance rotation video. Figured I would just kind of start trying this series out, just see how it goes. I don't know how often I'm gonna do it. It's definitely not gonna be every single week, but we're gonna try it this week. Um, someone, a couple of people have asked me to you know, do it, so I guess you know, there's at least some interest out there in doing a uh, video like this. So we're gonna give it a try. I got all my fragrances here. I did take note what I wore and uh, kind of remember why I chose what I chose. Um, there's gonna be mostly newer fragrances that are a part of a fragrance haul. So all these, a lot of these fragrances actually got delivered last week, so I was giving them test wears. So I'll, you know, kind of talk lightly about them. I'm not gonna go heavily into them. I'm not gonna do like a review or anything. So let's go ahead and do the breakdown. We're gonna talk about it right now. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get it started. So this is the week of May 14th. So May 14th being Sunday. So Sunday's fragrance of choice for me was from the house of Aiden Bob, Memoirs Day Mystique. Aiden Bob, Memoirs Day Mystique. Why did I choose this fragrance? This fragrance is very heavy with neroli, petit gras, orange blossoms. So it's basically a bitter orange tree all wrapped up into one fragrance. It's very fresh, it's very bright, has a little bit of a citrus pop to it, but it's a very kind of uplifting fragrance. And that is exactly why I chose it to wear that Sunday. That's just kind of the vibe I wanted. I wanted something bright and uplifting. So I went with this. This isn't a massive performing fragrance. It stays on the skin maybe six to eight hours at the most, but it's pretty much a skin scent after five to six hours. I didn't wear anything else. I can't remember if I really did anything else that day. Uh, I, I didn't mark down any other fragrance, so I don't think I had any reason to wear another one, whatever I was doing. But yeah, this is the fragrance for that Sunday, Memoirs de Mystique from Aiden Bob. All right, so moving on, the fragrance for Monday is going to be Nishane's Hasavat. Nishane's Hasavat. So I travel for work and I was driving out of town heading to my work site and <laughs> on my way out, uh, I got, got a call saying that actually everything's been canceled so I actually didn't end up going anywhere. But I wore this because uh, for what I was doing for work, uh, I could wear this and it would have been fine. Also, I just wanted to wear it. It was very warm that day and I hadn't worn this in a while. So I was like, hey, let's just go with Hasavat for the day. Love this fragrance. You got bergamot, pineapple in this, there's oak moss, there's some woods. Very fresh, very bright, perfect warm weather fragrance. Lasts a long time. This is one of my favorites in my collection. Since I didn't have to go to work, I think me and my wife, uh, we went to the mall and actually discovered some other fragrances while we were there and just kind of took care of some other things. So yeah, I just kept this on. I didn't spray anything else on. Just the Hasavat was the fragrance of the day for that day. So yeah, Monday's fragrance was Nashane's Hasavat. All right, so as I stated in the intro, I got in a lot of fragrances this week, and so I was testing a lot of them out. So the next few days were testing days for fragrances. So this was one of them, Lalique's Ombre Noir. Lalique's Ombre Noir, this fragrance has kind of been making the rounds in the community as being kind of a sleeper gem. And I have to say, when I got my nose on it, I must agree, very spicy fragrance has a little bit of a booziness to it, it's woody. This fragrance here kind of reminds me of being in a whiskey cellar at Christmas time because there's spices in the air or something like that. But yeah, that's pretty much what this one is in a nutshell to me. This one is kind of a holiday scent to me, but it can work for other stuff. Definitely a good evening wear fragrance. Very, I'm still continue to be impressed with the quality of fragrances that Lalique puts out and even more so impressed for the price we can pay for them on discounters. You'll definitely be seeing this one in a lot more videos to come. Once again, Ombre Noir from Lalique. All right, so moving on to Wednesday. This was also one of the fragrances I got from my fragrance haul. This is Terre d'Hermes, the Pure Parfum. Or Parfum, Pure Parfum, whatever. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, the Parfum flanker to Terre d'Hermes. I had smelled this before, so this wasn't a blind buy or anything like that, but I had never worn it on skin, but I knew it was one I ultimately wanted to get. And I just went on ahead and took advantage of, of getting it, you know, recently. And to be honest, this is a really, 
really good flanker. Uh, it stays true to the original Terre d'Air Mez, but it does kind of dial down a little bit of the citrus in the beginning. You don't really get orange in this anymore. I think it's more of a grapefruit kind of citrus, uh, but even that is pulled back a lot. You still have the earthiness and the flintiness to a degree. It's just not as sharp, not as forward. You still definitely get plenty of vetiver in this but it's just smoothed out. It's literally just a somewhat richer, but smoother, less loud version of the original. I'm gonna be talking about this one a lot more in the future as well. So uh, once again, Wednesday's wear was Hermes, Terre d'Hermes Parfum. All right, and moving on to Thursday's wear. This is from the house of Ramon Monegal. This is next to me. Next to me from the house of Ramon Monegal, I think formerly known as Dubai next to me because I believe it was originally a Dubai exclusive release, but then it was re-released for the for the masses. This is a stunning fragrance. I love the little Zippo cap. I did not do that on purpose. That was by accident. It just, you know, it, it, it's like the Zippo style cap. Uh, so I definitely wanted to try this one out. This is also not, was not a blind buy. I was able to discover it at my local Nice perfumery. Uh, when I smelled the Ramon Monegal fragrances that they had at the time, this one really stuck with me. So I went on ahead and grabbed it, found a really good deal on Max Aroma. It was like half off. So, you know, I just went on ahead and jumped on it. It's a fruity fragrance, has a lot of smokiness. It's an incense heavy fragrance, has a lot of woods. There's definitely oud in this, some fruits on the top. There's also a pretty prominent note of peach uh, in the opening of the fragrance. Very luxurious scent, uh, definitely indicative of a Middle Eastern style fragrance. I think they were trying to capture the essence of what Dubai might, sm might smell like in this fragrance. Now, I haven't been to Dubai, so I can't say it's accurate, but I could believe it. So yeah, this is a very luxurious fragrance. I'll definitely be giving it a lot of nighttime wears in the future. Certainly we'll be talking about this one as well as time goes along. So once again, from the house of Ramon Monegal, this is next to me. Oh, by the way, performance wise, this was all on my skin all freaking day. So good performing fragrance as well for those that care about performance. All right, so we're moving on to Friday. Now Friday, I actually had a lot of stuff going on. I was actually doing a number of things on Friday. So my fragrance choices were a little bit more geared towards what I was doing versus just testing stuff out. So I did go to the gym Friday morning. So my gym scent of choice was Terre d'Hermes Eau Givray from the house of Hermes. This is a really good warm weather fragrance. And as a result, I think it naturally becomes a good gym fragrance as well. Maybe not necessarily my first choice for the gym, but I was like, oh, it definitely works. And I wore it and I'm glad I did. I enjoyed smelling it while I was doing my workout. You know, this is basically kind of like grapefruit juice in a bottle with some added woodiness from vetiver. In my opinion, one of the best summertime warm weather fragrance releases from a designer house in the last couple of years. You'll definitely be seeing this one a lot more. So on to what I wore for that evening because I play drums and so I did have gigs this weekend. So Friday and Saturday, I was playing drums both of those nights. So for Friday night, I chose to go with this uh, from the house of Tom Ford. This is Noir Extreme. Tom Ford Noir Extreme. Uh, I went with this because I had not worn it in a while and <laughs> while I was wearing it, I was like, yeah, I still love the way this smells. This is... Um, a rich, luxurious, spicy, uh, creamy, just yummy fragrance. Features that, you know, infamous note of Kofi, which is, I believe is a pistachio based dessert. Fragrance smells awesome. This interestingly enough, wears kind of light on my skin. I found it to almost perform more like a date night fragrance where it wasn't like blasting off of my skin. I don't know if other people get kind of better projection off of this fragrance, but for me, it's not necessarily a skin scent. It's just more so filling my space. So I was interested to see how it performs in that environment where, you know, I'm, I'm uh, pushing off a lot more body heat because I'm playing, I'm active, I'm, you know, sweating a little bit more. The fragrance stays on my skin for a long time. I could actually still smell it the next morning on my skin, kind of the baseline, maybe sandalwood kind of vanillic notes. Uh, the next morning when I woke up even after showering, but it doesn't necessarily push off my skin that much after a while, but I'm okay with that. It smelled great. I enjoyed wearing it. So Friday night scent of the evening was Tom Ford Noir Extreme. All right, we're on to the last day. So Saturday also has two scents. The first one's coming from the house of Mancera. This is also a new pickup from this past week. This is Sicily. Mancera Sicily. This was a blind buy for me, but I had heard a number of 
reviewers talk a little bit more in depth about this fragrance and I trust their opinions and also just kind of did a little bit of my own research and I was like, yeah, I think that's a fragrance I want to go ahead and get. And I was not disappointed. Lots of citrus on the top of this, a good amount of fruitiness also features a pretty prominent note of peach and also has a lot of florals and a little bit of a musky dry down. I wore this because it was, again, very hot, also very humid Saturday because we've been getting a little bit of rain this past weekend and I wanted to wear this because of that uplifting nature as well as just to test it to see how it smelled and it definitely bought that bright briskness uh, kind of juiciness to my nose and kind of helped me come alive for that day. I took a couple of walks outside while this was on my skin to just kind of see how it smells outdoors in the heat and this is definitely a great warm weather fragrance. I'll definitely be wearing this one in the summertime as well. And moving on to the final fragrance on this list, this is Saturday Night's fragrance of choice. I also was playing drums again like I mentioned and I wanted something basically the opposite of what I experienced with Noir Extreme. I wanted something that I knew was going to stay on my skin and push off of it very well. Mason Francis Kirk John Oud Satin Mood Extrait de Parfum. <laughs> yeah, uh, this was pushing heavily off my skin. Uh, I think I, what did I do? I did four sprays of this. If you don't know about this fragrance, it's pretty much an oud rose fragrance. Has a pretty good strong blast of saffron in the opening of the fragrance. Matter of fact, if you overspray this, that's pretty much all you're gonna get is saffron just digging into your nose. It could be a little off-putting. Like I said, I did four sprays because I knew I was going to be active and playing and also gonna be competing with the smells of that restaurant that I was playing in. It's a pretty fragrant restaurant, so you're, if you want your fragrance to stick out, you're gonna have to wear something that either has a lot of power or spray a lot of sprays. So that's why I kind of went with four sprays. Normally I would maybe only do two or three of this. It did what it was supposed to do. I could smell it throughout the night. Uh, it was <laughs> very much still on my skin, still wearing strong as ever by the time I got home and uh, could still smell it on my skin this morning as well. Extra de Parfum, obviously a much higher oil concentration, so it's gonna have that sticking power to your skin more so than say an Eau de Parfum might similar to what a Noir Extreme is. Also, this just has a m much richer notes than the, the Noir Extreme, so I expected it to kind of perform better in that department. That's not a knock on Noir Extreme, though. I just know this fragrance was going to behave differently, and that's just what I wanted for that evening. So, Saturday night's scent of the evening was Mason Francis Kirk John, Oud Satin Mood Extrait de Parfum. All right, guys, that's it. That was my weekly fragrance rotation for the week of May 14th. Uh, just thought I'd give a little bit of a breakdown as to what I wore and why I chose to wear it. Uh, the next time I do this, I'm gonna try not to have just a bunch of testing wears and uh, try to be a little bit more practical in what my choices were uh, as to why I chose the fragrance for that day, what was I feeling, what kind of mood did I want. To me, that's very important when you're choosing a fragrance, particularly when you've got you know, too many to select from. You know, you kind of have to start thinking a little bit deeper as to, okay, what do I want to smell today and why do I want to smell it? Otherwise, you just stare at your fragrance cabinet and you don't know what you want to smell. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Remember to be well and smell well, and I will see you in the next episode of The Fragrance Well. Have a great day.